Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a selection of the best spreadsheets for Excel or for Google Sheets that you can use as an individual or for your business. If you're new then you should subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of cool stuff to share with you. Subscribe button is right below this video and also don't forget to turn on the notifications. So yeah, today we're going to talk about spreadsheets. If you've never used spreadsheets before, then I should say that they're very handy. Not only for your business, but also for your personal life. Yes, spreadsheets are not only used by accounts and it's not that difficult to use, especially if you start from a template. So in this video, I'm going to show you my selection of the best spreadsheets for personal life and also for your business like invoices to do lists meal plans yes you can do quite a lot with spreadsheets now let's start with spreadsheets for personal use like this one a to-do list this is a google sheets template so if you need to write down all the tasks that you need to do for the week or your grocery shopping then just type it here it's pretty easy to use and you get some some instructions and a good thing is that you can click whenever you're done on the other hand if you're looking for a more complete checklist then i'll show you this one over here from vertex 42 here it works the same way and just click to mark all the things that you have already packed as you can see this is a vacation packing list and down here you get another tab which is business travel packing list and here is college okay some of the items on this list are similar but as you can see it also changes a bit the great thing about this template is that you have most of the items already written so you don't have to type them on your own if you're on a diet because you want to lose weight or you are training for some competition or you just want to have a healthy life then it's very important to plan your meals i think every coach doctor nutritionist will insist that you have to plan your meals so i have two different weekly meal planners here as you see here we have all the days of the week we can also have a grocery list here and inside each day we have breakfast lunch snacks and dinner also side dishes and a great thing is that we have drop down so it's easier to plan what we're going to eat and then down here we've got some notes and the grocery list where we can add what we have to buy that week you will also have different tabs here i'm just going to show you how they look and another option for a weekly meal planner is this one over here this is another weekly meal planner it has a different structure you also get all the days of the week and all the breakfast, lunch, afternoon snacks. And let's check the other tabs. This is Planner A and Planner B looks slightly different. And here in the last tab, we have the meals. If you're planning a trip, I mean a long trip, like two weeks, three or even months, then having all the details of this trip, like the transportation, all the flights, all the hotels that you've booked, everything, in the same spreadsheet it's very very important so you can control and you won't miss anything and this template is really helpful you can add all the destinations and the date of arrival the number of nights that you will spend in that place also all the transportation that you're going to use imagine all the buses or trains and uh, even flights that you're going to take they have some additional sections that you can use or you just can delete them like for example clothes shoes accessories medication and some emergency contacts down here emergency contacts are very handy especially when you're traveling with friends or with a big group of people and you might not know all of them so if something happens they know who to contact if you want to control your expenses or you're planning to save up some money then the easiest way is to control your expenses and put them all together in this personal monthly budget as you can see this monthly budget is pretty complete because it also adds things like entertainment or loans and it also includes taxes so what you have to do is just add your phone bills electricity water cable whatever expenses that you have here and it will automatically calculate the difference so you know how much money you have left each month just in case if you want to save it up for a trip or to buy whatever you want 
this template is great if you have other flatmates so altogether you can see the total expenses of the house that you're sharing so you have got the electricity bills and also the rent of each of you i'm done with my selection of spreadsheets for personal use so now let's get into business in my opinion the most important spreadsheet that a freelance needs is an invoice like the one that you can see right now it's a simple invoice that you can easily edit but it's got what you need because the date um the customer id you have a place to write the description and the total the total amount and a place to insert your logo next is a quotation template so before issuing your invoice you need to quote your services before starting a new project before starting a new project you need to send your clients a quote your client has to see how much these services are going to cost so you need a quotation template for it as you can see a quotation template is pretty similar to an invoice it just has slight differences but it's still good that you have different templates, one for quotes and another one for invoices. If you're a project manager, then you're probably familiar with Gantt charts and you might need them. If you don't know what a Gantt chart is, it's a bar chart that shows the start and the end of each task in a project schedule. As you can see here, we have a calendar and here are all our tasks and it marks the start and the end of each task. You also have instructions down here in the help tab. If you're starting a business, one of the keys to succeed is have a proper business plan. You have to be realistic. You need to know how much money you would need and also all the expenses that you will have. This template is great. You have different tabs. It's pretty advanced. So here we get some of the highlights. And if you check the different tabs, you can see, for example, here we have the market analysis. You can also use this to show it to your future sponsors so you can see how good you've done the past years. So I'm going to switch to the other tabs. So as you can see, this is pretty advanced. There's like a lot of stuff. That... So as you can see, it's pretty advanced and I can continue and move. You can also have a budget, break even, cash flow very 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 advanced so don't be afraid you also have a help tab down here with instructions that you can follow if you have a shop or an online shop where you sell physical products then you need to keep track of your stock this inventory template then is going to be very useful you can write the name of the item the stock location and how much stock you have so it would be easier to know if you have to order more items like that or maybe you're doing fine and you don't need to order anything or maybe realize that that item is not selling so you should discontinue it it's a simple inventory so you just need to add as many lines as items you have or you can also delete the columns that you won't be using and last a weekly calendar template that you can use for business or for your personal life as you see as you see, we've got all the days of the week here. It starts on Sunday because in some countries, Sunday is the first day of the week, but you can change these easily. What I find very useful is that you can set the start time. In this case, it's 7 a.m. You can also edit the week start date and the time interval. Right now, it's set to 10 minutes and we can see here time. It goes from 7 a.m. to 7, 10 and 20, 30, 40. So it's each 10 minutes. Um, you can edit this because actually I'm moving to another tab, this one over here. We have the data keys, the time interval, so you can set it. For me, it's better to set it each hour maybe, so it's 60 minutes or even 30 minutes. And the schedule start time is from 6 a.m. down to 5 a.m. the following day. Because you might have a night shift, who knows. I'm going back to the weekly calendar, so I'm going to scroll down. A little bit here it ends at 2 50 p.m. and and here you can see the instructions from the creators of the template so I'm just gonna scroll down until here so back to this it's very easy because you just have to edit the start time the time interval and the week start date and this everything here will automatically change I hope you find my selection handy and remember they are all free to download. All the links are inside the description that's right below this video. If you like this video then don't forget to give me a thumbs up, 
comment this video and also don't forget to subscribe for more cool videos like this i've got lots of stuff to share with you the subscribe button is right below this video and also you can turn on the notifications by ringing the bell next to it see you guys next week